Here we are in the old abandoned town, Crestone, Colorado, full of run-down buildings and just tons and tons of trash and filth. But this place was once quite prosperous. See, there was a time when uh, many people lived here and in the surrounding area. And these people were quite happy, except one group that came along and ruined it, and that was the POA. You okay? You okay? Yeah, yeah. See, the POA was worried about injuries like that, and people suing them over injuries like that. Uh, and that's why all the people left this town. Those issues, like that fall right there, they were very worrisome towards the people of the POA. Thought everyone was gonna be sued and people were gonna be completely upset and horrified about all the things going on in town, outside of the town. People didn't like this much, and with a deteriorating climate... Where is everybody? Where do y'all go? I... I... <laughs> okay, so, back on, back on track. With the deteriorating climate, and the POA having many issues, and the people of the town having many issues with them, we, uh, we saw Crestone fall. What was once... A nice, beautiful town. Came all run down. This here is the old hardware store. Kind of don't want this to collapse. I'm not gonna touch it. And now it's empty. Shh, 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 shh. Look, these are the only people to live here now. They're the natural hippies. In their natural habitat. And this is the ritual they perform. One seven, blue moon, or red moon. It's, it has something to do with the moon. It's hard to figure the cycles because they change them so frequently. As you can see, they are creatures of very high intelligence and they're the only things to inhabit this land. The mountains, the natural habitat have overgrown this whole area. But these hippies, they can endure Many, many, many hardships. They've been put through some troubles here. In fact, they are the only people here that survived the wrath of the POA. Going about the ritual. Their ritual, as you can see, has them circling the stump and hitting it with their drumming sticks. This is what we call a drum circle. And every now and then, you might notice a grunt, a noise of appreciation for the land and the mother nature, as they would say. See, a lot of the things they do in this drum circle were not too appreciated by the POA because of their issues with the legality. Uh, but, as you can see, they have found their home here. Now that everyone else is left. Let's take one more. Oh, I think they saw I think they saw it. Ah, it's moving! Okay. Hang back. It is considered sacrilegious offense to do anything to stop or hurt their ritual. The drum circle must go on no matter what. And there are many, many missing persons cases that have come on here because of someone or something trying to stop their rituals. I think it's safe to keep moving.
I'm back here in Cresto, Colorado. After doing some investigations down at the public library that used to exist here. See, I've learned that the history of this place is right full of interesting crimes and stories that one would not find anywhere else. And I think that's the ship. Uh, sure, sure. Yes, yes, sir. yes. Sir. Um, moments to talk about this town. Uh, answer a few questions. I'm pursuing a dangerous criminal right now, but I should be able to soon. Yeah? Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, we got time. We got time? Okay, okay. He's a uh, slow one, apparently. <laughs> uh, so I was just wondering, what actually happened to this place? This place? Uh, how do I put it? Once the mines started leaving, the uh, we got a bunch of crackheads and some hippies all moving themselves in. Rich kids, you know, with the drug problem. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Uh, after that started happening, we saw some weird occurrences and general, uh, misdemeanors and incest on common decency. Ah, I see. That's very interesting. Um, do you know anything about the people who are, who still practice their, um, their, their religions and stuff up here in this area? Well, um... I know a little bit about them. I know mostly for their uh, criminal adventures, so to speak. They are not, as one would say, the most decent of people. And uh, we have this one fella. Been yeah. really crazy. He's definitely on something, and it makes him run very fast. I do not know what it is. Is that oh who you were chasing? God, is that oh, oh fuck, that's him. Oh gosh, he wait. God damn it. I think he's this the is... same person we saw down at the oh, drum shit. circle he's from earlier. Oh, he even has the sting. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Such a fast ride, he doesn't seem to be moving very quickly. We got ourselves a criminal. Well, it's okay. this has been it's one there. exciting adventure in the town. Watch the criminal get caught. That's how we do it in Presto. These god dang hippies. Are taking over the place. He's riding him like his horse. Is that what, boy, what he has the horse for? Is that just for practice? Give me your arm here, fool looking. Look at that. Did you hear that? He wanted the cocaine. He is one of those misfits I was talking about. Wow. Probably from a rich family back east. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyway, fellas. I don't know what else to say. I need to get him through processing. All right. We'll leave you to your business. Thank you. It's okay. been an interesting day in the town of Crestone. Tons of crazy things have been happening. Do I have to hold you? Break. No, please. We'll be back after this short ad. So what's your name? <laughs> well, my name used to be Co my name used to be Joe, but nowadays I'm known as Yucca Moon Man. Okay, Yucca Moon Man, and what do you do around here? Man, I live out in nature and like respect the wilderness. Okay, so do you know anything about the town of Crestone? The town of Crestone, man, it's a spiritual place. Like, it's great. Yeah. Okay. Can you give any more information about what's been happening recently? Well, the POA has been doing some bad stuff, man. Yeah, can you elaborate? And they're just disrespecting us all. Disrespecting? Like, they're disrespecting my chakras, man. Your chakra, okay. And uh, how, how so? Like, can we, can we have your insight on that? No. <laughs> okay. This seems like uh, this guy doesn't seem to know the most about... Uh, what's actually going on here. Okay, that was that was a good interview. Uh, we're, we're gonna let you go now. Alright, man. If you want to come hang out in my shack in the woods, just send me some smoke signals. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Will you state your name? My name is Billy Eidlish. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Billy. And, uh, what... What do you do around here? Oh, uh, me? You could say I'm a master of all trades. I'm a bit of a lone wolf. 
I like okay. to think I'm the uh, heart and soul that keeps this town together. Okay, um, and can you tell me about the town? What's been happening? Well, not too much. We've been having the cops come by a little more than regular. That's, that hasn't been too good for business, but uh... Other than that, everything's pretty nice in the town. You know they opened up a lovely little, like, I don't know what you call it. You can get weed there, I think. Yes, yes, there are a few places like that, I think, nearby. Oh, okay. Um... I don't go much. I mean, <laughs> we, we, well, I'm not sure how much to go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, um... What about the POA? What do you know about that? Oh, the POA, they're very nice people. Yeah, they're pretty good. They try to keep everything maintained. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, in my opinion, it's just between you and me, but, like, uh, I think the POAs might may be a little better than the town. I mean, they keep all the roads up and good and stuff. I mean, if the roads aren't good, how are we going to keep business flowing? Okay, what about the POA, uh, the conflict with the school children using the soccer field? Oh, well, man, um, I don't know too much about that, but... I have heard a couple things. I mean, it's just a game between you and me, okay? But uh, I've heard that uh, some of those uh, school children aren't children. You know what I mean? Not children. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway, other than that, like, I don't think this. I mean, all I know is that those kids are getting pretty riled up, don't really understand why. I mean, I understand you want to kick a ball around, something with your feet, but like, man, like, we got hacky sack and stuff, do you really need a soccer ball? It takes up, like, half the space. Wait, what are we talking about? Okay. Oh. Um, thank you for your time. Uh-huh. Is there any final comments you would like to add? Uh... Spring Break 1996. Hang loose, bro. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm a representative of the POA here. And uh, we are, as you can see, we are currently at the soccer field, which has been the uh, subject of debate recently in our community. Uh, the reason it is such a subject of debate is because we... Uh, are just unable to afford the insurance needed for these uh, young adults to play. And, uh, I mean, if you just come over here and maybe look a little bit, right here there's a big old gopher hole. I know for a fact probably a dozen children have broken an ankle in that thing. And look at these goals over here they're all rusty they may be our goals but why are we gonna fix them when they're playing with them okay look at this it's so rusty <laughs> goddamn kids i mean look at this goal does this look safe i can move it it's definitely not safe and let me tell you something if i see any more kids at all playing soccer in this field without their insurance, and I swear to God, I'm calling the sheriff. Anyway, it's just not a safe place for them to be. I mean, I know that uh, parents want their kids to do safe activities after school, but this isn't a safe one. I mean, <laughs> they're gonna die in that thing. They're gonna die. So no kids without their insurance can be playing on my field. Thank you. You got darn kids! What is wrong with you? This is what I meant. Do you have your insurance? Don't you run away from me. What is wrong with you? What did I tell you about? playing on the soccer field. Look, he's dead. He's clearly dead. How can you people let this happen? Get your insurance and get out of here. Get. 
Get. This isn't my problem. Get. Move it. Get the sheriff. Get the police. This can't be. St this can't happen. Get. Come on. Get him out. Get him out. Come on. Come on. Get out. Get out. Come on. Get him out. This isn't my problem. This isn't my problem. Get him out. This concludes our investigation of the small, desolate town of Crestone and all the issues and problems that they've had with the POA, the people stealing the POA's land, trying to use it for their own public use, as well as the town itself being overrun with crazy drug addicts and hippies. Those are all the people who live here now. And you see, it is only them who can survive this harsh, harsh environment that is the small desert town of Creston, Colorado. Thank you very much for watching our long and interesting, very interesting documentary. I can tell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all you people. We're done with this documentary. Sheriff, shut that camera. No. Sheriff, shut it off. No. Sheriff, down. please. What are you arresting me for? God damn, you, you're causing too much disturbance in this town. What are, you, what are we doing? doing? Come, what are you, come on. What? What? Are you? We're just doing this right now. No. Everyone, no. Put a hand in the no. room. No. Let him go. Hand hand just in the room. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No. We're not leaving. We need to finish this documentary. Stop. What are you? Stop, Stop this. Are you the kid that almost died? What are the charges? No. Jesus Christ. You, you got to be specific. Come on. Come on, Sheriff. Sheriff, I'm taking your badge. This is a spot. Oh, God. Look at these. Look. You're meant for crystal. Ow. Oh, God. Get out. Get out. I have I rights. Have I know my rights. I know my rights. You're making us look bad. Get out of here. Come on. Let's go. All right.